All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the KS3P mod, which is being made by Formuser the White Guardian, though we are actually running this with an unofficial patch by user Cluster. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is post processing effects, which make this already wonderful game even more gorgeous. And I I absolutely love this mod and it's actually been around for some time around two years now and the reason we're running on an unofficial patch is when uh, 1.7.3 came out the mod maker Guardian was working on a patch to get it functioning correctly but it appears that life got too busy and so user Cluster stepped in to make this unofficial patch until Guardian can get things sorted out which is pretty awesome because I do love this mod it just adds so much, adding in more color saturation, vignetting, different things like ambient occlusion and uh, blur, motion blur, and even a dust effect, which you may be able to see depending on YouTube's compression ratio. And all in all is a pretty cool thing that really does make this game look great. And best of all, for not much of a performance hit. I honestly have not really noticed any hit to my performance with this mod installed, which I was surprised by considering how great it does make it look in every scene available, whether you're in the VAB, the uh, space plane hangar, or of course the tracking station, you get the different saturation rates, etc. But let's actually go to my Viewomatic satellite out here and uh, see the full splendor of our solar system from orbit with these effects on and it is gorgeous i really do love how this makes our solar system look here in the game and i'm actually gonna pop onto the screen a few videos i shot earlier comparing different planets with both of these post processing effects on and off so you can see just how drastic of a difference it is it really does add to a lot in the visual department though uh, on this image of duna you can probably see things like Color saturation can be a bit high sometimes, at least in my personal opinion, but that's where this mod gets even better because you can adjust all of these things and even turn on or off certain effects that may be giving you a bit of a hit in your own personal performance. So to actually mess around with the settings here, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is hold down left alt and hit three and we get the KS3P GUI menu brought up. And the first button we have here is a setup. And basically what you can do here is select which post-processing profile you have in each different scene in the games, so whether it's the main menu, the VAB, the tracking station, flight, etc. You can go in here and choose which profile you have. Now, all the profiles on here right now are the defaulted ones made by Cluster, so we only have that one option, but we can, of course, create others or download others if you so desire. And then, of course, at the bottom here, we also have the ability to either enable it or disable it. And now we're back to just the plain old vanilla Kerbal Space Program view. And turning it back on, you can just again see the just wild difference between visuals. It is pretty darn great. Now up in the top left, we have the return button to get back to the main section here. And the second button we have is the profile editor. And this is where you can change all of the various settings. And so let's jump in there. And the first thing you're going to have to do is select which profile you're wanting to edit by, well, hitting the select profile button. And we're actually going to have to select the flight one because we're currently in the flight view. And now that we're in here, we can check the uh, proper properties for that profile and in here we can actually change the name the name of it and choose where it will display by default so of course this one being the flight scene it is selected for that particular scene but if you did want to change up the different effects 
and have it for the main menu as well. You just gotta click it and you're good to go. But let's hit to return here and then uh, talk about all the other effects we have. Now, you have the ability to change anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, bloom, depth of field, motion blur, eye adaptation, color grading, user loot, uh, chromatic aberration, vignette, grain, and the screen space reflection. And if you want, you can then export this profile to share with your friends if you so desire, or save it as a backup for whenever you need to perhaps reload things after you've tweaked it a bit more. So let's sort of just jump into a few of these, because basically whenever you want to change any of those options, you just need to click in, and then you'll have all of the various things you need to do here of changing its intensity or whatever other options it has, and even the ability to enable it or disable it. And so for instance, ambient occlusion is currently off, so we can turn that on. And uh, where you can really see that is right in here on our satellite. So if we re-enable that, you can just see how much better that looks. I really do love that. And we can even, of course, turn on like the HDR for it, adjust the intensity here for whatever you do desire. And it's great having this much control. And if we do go back to, well, let's actually look at the bloom. As this one is one that by default with cluster settings, I think is a bit too much, especially, especially when you're on the runway. The bloom makes all of the white bits of the runway just glow like they're radioactive and we can of course turn down that bloom you can see it on the uh, solar panels there and also the edge of the planet we can bring it all the way up to really have a lot of bloom or bring it down and anywhere in between and just change all of the other sort of settings here so you can really make this whole thing full of bloom if you so desire but that's kind of crazy and there we go bring it down and just make it however you visually prefer your shot and videos and gameplay to look and I really love having all of this control especially things like the color grading I like coming in here to say if I want a shot to be a bit more warm well there we go we can make the color palette more warm more cool and change hue shift and tint and saturation all that sort of stuff there we go now we have a black and white Kerbal Space program and it's just great I really really do enjoy having all the control that we do have here to just Make the whole thing as wacky or as good looking as you like. It's just a very fun. And yeah, that's uh that's really all to go over. We have all the different settings. You can go into each to adjust them to your liking. And then even turn it all off if that is what you do prefer. It's just a great mod that surprisingly doesn't hit the performance very much at all. And if it does, you can always disable it or go in and turn off whichever effect is the one causing you issues. And so yeah, it's a great mod. Definitely worth Worth a look if you'd like to check it out for yourself you can have a look at the link in the description and i'll also uh, include a link to the current unofficial patch hopefully guardians life uh, sorts out and it isn't so hectic soon so that you can make the official patch but for now uh cluster has us covered and uh yeah definitely go have a look check it out have fun with this mod but that is going to be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully you'll be looking at another wonderful mod with me but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one!